In this video, we're going to look at how we can build a quadratic from the solutions to the quadratic. For example, if we know that the solutions to some quadratic are 4 and negative 2, we can work backwards through our factoring method in order to find what equation was used to get those solutions. If we're saying the solutions are 4 and negative 2, we're saying either x equals 4 or x equals negative 2. And we would have found those solutions by setting our factors equal to 0. So let's make both of these equations equal 0. We can make the first equation equal 0 by subtracting 4 from both sides to get x minus 4 equals 0. And the second equation we can make equal 0 by adding 2 to both sides, giving us x plus 2 equals 0. And if you remember from factoring, we would set each factor equal to 0, which means x minus 4 and x plus 2 must be the two factors that were used to generate the solutions. So we would say we have factors x minus 4 times x plus 2, which we can multiply out to get x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Let me get this second example out of the way. Built it too high here. And then when we combine like terms in the middle, we get our final equation x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. This is the equation that would have been used to give us the solutions 4 and negative 2. The way we found that equation is we made each e solution equal to x and then equal to 0 and used those as the factors of our polynomial. We can do much the same thing when our solutions are fractions, such as 2 thirds and 3 fourths. We can say x equals 2 thirds and x equals 3 fourths. The only difference in this problem is we have some fractions. Well, we can get rid of those fractions really quickly by multiplying both sides by the LCD in each equation. In this first equation, the only denominator is 3, so we'll multiply both sides by 3 to give us 3x equals 2. And then we can make it equal 0 by subtracting 2 from both sides. 3x minus 2 equals 0. We can do much the same thing in the other equation. Clear the fraction by multiplying by the LCD of 4, giving us 4x equals 3, and then subtracting 3 from both sides, so it equals 0, giving us 4x minus 3 equals 0. Again, now that we have the parts that equal 0, those parts must have been the factors from our original polynomial. 3x minus 2 times 4x minus 3 must have equaled 0. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to scroll down. So to find our polynomial, we just multiply this out using FOIL. We have 12x squared minus 9x minus 8x plus 6 equals 0, and then combine the like terms in the middle to give us 12x squared minus 17x plus 6 equals 0 is the equation that has solutions 2 thirds and 3 fourths. Again, we found those solutions by making x equal to both of them, and then making the equation equal to 0 by clearing the fraction and moving the number over, knowing that those equations build our factors that we have to multiply out to get our s polynomial. That's how we can build a quadratic from the rational solutions.